this is going to sound really disgusting. I hate to even mention it, but people get parasites in their brain, in their ears, in all kinds of places. Okay. Because literally they're leaking out through this leaky hole and they can travel anywhere. And they say the root cause of almost all cancers, especially breast cancers, they're looking now and they're saying it's parasites, you know, because so a parasite gets in there and then it creates toxicity as a byproduct, but it gets stuck somewhere in the tissues. And glyphosate is the driver because it's creating that environment where it can get there. So addressing both of those things, having a really healthy biome and really working on those tight junctions, super important. But also, like we said, the mindfulness when we're eating um, and also cleansing, cleansing the parasites once in a while so they don't get out of control like they are for so many people because you would not believe, I've, I've led over 1400 people through parasite cleansing. You would not believe the different ailments that drop off. And they're like, this lady's like, I don't have fibromyalgia anymore. I don't have arthritis. I don't have this. I don't have that. All these things that have been diagnosed, Hashimoto's, all of these things, people, toxins is the root cause, but what are those toxins coming from? Mm -hmm. You know, is yeah. it coming from the parasites is coming from whatever they're letting go of and is getting recirculated in the body. I don't know, but I just, it just blows my mind. What blows my mind too are, are the symptoms that yeah. again, people don't even connect the dots. So tell us the symptoms of when these parasites get out of control. What do people experience? Okay, so there's so many. Um, joint pain, brain fog, headaches, migraines, teeth grinding, night waking, um, bad wetting, heart palpitations, and almost like tachycardia type symptoms, restless leg syndrome, anxiety, almost kind of like bipolar attitudes, mm. and out of control cravings of all kinds. I mean, if, if you think about all of your nutrients getting sucked out of your body, but then you have critters that actually really love glucose, um, you're going to be craving sugar, but you're also going to be craving all of the other things, like even healthy foods or salty foods and all kinds of things, because they're taking all your minerals. So you're going to be craving, th your cravings are going to be across the board. Your moods are going to be like this, um, because uh, all of those toxins that they give off mess with your neurotransmitters and your hormones as well. So it's just a big fat hot mess and it can cause literally every symptom that could look like other diseases. I've had people who had been diagnosed with Parkinson's. Did not have Parkinson's. Mm -hmm. I've had people that have been diagnosed with just crazy stuff and it, the root cause was parasites. And I'm not saying this doesn't <laughs> diagnose, this doesn't treat. Um, I'm just throwing out there that there's so much misdiagnosis out there and the root cause is almost never what it seems.